pain is the first 10 days was the pain was pretty much unbearable but then after that i think the swelling comes out and you just you, you start feeling a bit more comfortable um so yeah since like week two to three i've not really felt any pain in the achilles obviously if i try and do something crazy then i'm going to feel pain but from obviously just relaxing the pain levels are fine i made it to week three three weeks already time goes fast time went for no man so yeah um week three now of my achilles tendon rupture updates um as you can tell there's a bit of a there's a bit of a smile on my face so that tells you that things are going good from my perspective um the pain level is i mean i had a little twinge there but that's just because of the way that i'm sitting but the pain has i wouldn't say it's completely gone um but i'd say before the pain level was like nine out of ten pain right now it's probably about three out of ten um if you try and do something crazy obviously the pain is going to start screaming and whatever but yeah the pain about three out of ten if you're not doing anything like silly um then you shouldn't really be in any pain um and i think that that's because a lot of the swelling has actually come out and the inflammation i've done quite a good job of just literally resting for the two weeks and keeping my foot elevated so yeah what's happened so earlier in the week i got my cast removed and i'll show you that process in the video so you can have a look and, and, and see see how that went <laughs> Cut it off and then call the doctor. Okay. Um, but yeah, I've got the cast removed. It looks scarier than it actually is, and it sounds scarier than it is. So at first, the doctor came with like a or well, the, the nurse came with like a saw and I was like let me record this to which she said you're not allowed to record um, you can take a photo but you can't record and I said but what if you cut me and to the reply that I got was this can't cut you um, they put it on their hand and it's almost like a it doesn't spin it vibrates um, so it won't actually cut you. So that put my uh, nerves at ease when she put it on her hand and it didn't cut her hand. So I thought, all right, okay, do your thing. They cut the boot off, the plastic, the, the cast, cut the boot off. And yeah, my, my foot got this its first bit of freedom for what, two and a half weeks. Um, first bit of fresh air. I thought it would be like 
my thought my foot would be like all grimy and like to dry off crust and smelling really bad but I'll be honest it didn't even didn't really smell bad it didn't have no smell at all really um, and it didn't have no crust or anything um, I thought it would be peeling but it wasn't the nurse wiped it down with some wipes um, and then she got my boot put the boot on for me oh when I take it off don't shake it you said. shake it oh, you sure need you to shake it to spread them spread all it all out yeah. Yeah. Bring your foot all the way, heel all the way to the, the, the yeah, it's like touching the sole too. Can you wash this? Uh, you can, but we say, not to. Um, wait not until to you see the physio. So you'll be seen by the physios. Okay. They'll explain how to change the liner. Yeah. Okay. You get to see. You need to protect the bean bag inside. Okay. okay. If you damage that bean bag, you'll have to contact the company and replace it at your cost. Okay. Because we do don't keep spares. Yeah. Okay. So this is the base. So I think your heel need to be sort of right to the end, all the way. Bring it down. No? Is it touching? Yeah. That's I don't know. That's fine. I think they are enough. Uh, we checked on the system okay, to, for the next uh, three weeks. Yeah. Uh, hopefully it will work for you because after three weeks you will be full weight wearing the boot. I should be, yeah. Yeah. In three weeks. Okay. okay. That's good. And we'll see you back in our clinic in about uh, twelve weeks yeah. to four months. Okay. It depends upon how is your progress. Yeah. So what, I should be walking in what nine weeks then? Uh, you will I be walking, walking even today. earlier, though, right from today. Oh, you can put some weight on that, like partial weight, yeah. even whatever you can. Yeah, whatever you can. Is, this board is designed to have the weight on. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. So when we do the straps, it got numbers. Mm. L means it's large. Number one, number two, three, number four. That's how you will be doing it every time. Okay. Okay. So number one. This one, number two, number three. So it shouldn't be too tight or too loose. Okay. So it should be just enough to support you, but it will feel different because you're just out of the cast. Okay? Yeah. How it feels? Very compact. It's not like hurting you. Do you want to lose a little bit? Oh, it's okay. Yeah. Very tight on the ankle. Yeah, this one? Yeah, it's not too low. Okay. And when you put the boot on, the last thing you need to do, bring the screen. Push it down. Push it down and then pump the air out. This is the pump. So you need to... You don't need to count it, it will just stop okay? when all the air is out. Oh, wow. okay. So let's see your boot. So when you take it off, open it, bring it up so all the air gets out. Oh. Then when you put it back on, make sure you do this. All the air back out. Wow. Technology, eh? Technology, yeah. That's it. Yeah. And the reason for the bean bags is so that it shapes around your legs. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. So, you, it's not only like you can't get replacement. If anything happens, mm. you need to bring the company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I will put everything for you in the bag, the instruction leaflet in it, okay. so you can look at uh, The boot is very heavy. That was the first thing I said. I said, this is heavy. I said, this weighs about 6 kg. She goes, it weighs 6.7. I weighed it the other day. So I was close enough. Um, yeah, it's a special boot designed for the Achilles specifically. I've got to be in this now. I've got to be in it for another nine weeks. So it's not too bad. At first, when you have the boot on, it feels like... It feels a little bit uncomfortable just because you become used to the cast. Um, it's a slightly different feeling, but yeah, it's alright. It's not. It's not too bad. Um, 
at least you can take it off for a minute or two if you want to go in the bath which I have done um, just be careful because you still obviously you can't put your foot on the floor so yeah just be careful with that I wouldn't I wouldn't do a shower still but yeah no still it'll be a bath throughout this whole process for me um, unless I was in a shower and I had a stool in the shower and I sat down on the stool and showered myself that way otherwise it's a bath thing for me for now or shower yourself inside the bath while you're lying down when I was in the bath I let my foot soak in the water for about a good five or six minutes and I like my baths hot so it was on boiling hot but it was warm very warm and um, I was looking in the bath and I could see like bits of skin coming off my foot like lifting off my foot and then just floating and I was like oh all the dead skin coming off now so I gave it like a bit of a scrub in there um, and when I came out when I was drying my foot dead skin was just dropping off so I was scrubbing my foot with the uh, just with the towel and all the skin was just coming off I didn't even need like need to press hard it was just dead skin was just coming off so I think there'll be a lot of people who can resonate on, on that side of things um, the boot the instructions that I got were you can partially weight there if you can so as much weight as you can put on it put on it it's not it's not all going to be like on your Achilles because your foot's still obviously in plantar flexion but you don't want to be going on your toes like you don't want to be standing on your toes um, so I have been like trying to walk around in the house not like as an exercise but like at least four or five times a day instead of like hopping I will try and walk um, and I just try and do like heel to toe heel to toe I just try and do that movement um, just so that like because something that I've noticed already within like the first two weeks I lost a lot of weight in my legs um, I think I've lost I've lost over a stone in two weeks just because I've not used my muscles I've not eaten as much as I did before I've not gone to the gym um, so I've lost a lot of muscle mass my legs especially they've lost a lot a lot of weight um, and a lot of muscle and it's so bad now that even standing up so like this boot like I said at the beginning of this conversation the boot was quite heavy so when I'm hopping around like let's say I hop and I hang my foot I start getting like I can feel my hamstring like almost about to cramp up as if I'm like and that's just because it's not even strong enough to hold the weight of my calf and the, the boot as well um, it's cramping up just from that and I was like wow I've really lost a lot of strength and power here so I'm trying to just walk on it a bit to build back a little bit of strength a little bit of muscle in there it's the smallest steps like the smallest things at the moment are the things that are gonna help you to progress slowly because um, you all at the moment all you can do is take small baby steps baby steps baby steps baby steps and you might think it's not doing anything but in the long run it is so keep doing those little baby steps and keep doing it keep doing it i started a exercise routine yesterday i haven't this wasn't prescribed to me by physio or anything but um i know it's something that i need to do i'll show you an explanation of the exercises so you can uh, incorporate them into your routine if you feel so um but yeah i'll give you three exercises that you can do to strengthen your legs get your legs strengthened back up and also just to increase the blood flow in your body um, if we can increase the blood flow in your body that means more blood can get pumped around and you can get the right nutrients to where it needs to go to mend yourself quickly so yeah we want to get that blood flowing again now all right so the first exercise is is very simple Essentially, all you want to do is 
Where's your leg? You don't want it to go too low. You don't want it to go too high. The reason I put the pillow there is so that I don't go any lower. And basically, this is working the thigh muscle. You can do it so do it like this. And even this boot, the boot weighs six and a half or 6.7 kg. Um, so I mean, once you do about 12 to 15 reps, you can feel it. Pause for, you know, 30 seconds or so, 20 seconds and go again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We should do about three sets of 15, 12 to 15 reps. And the next one, you just turn to your side. And it's the same concept. So, up. And you really want to keep that tension. So there's no point slamming your foot down or going too high. You want to keep this tense the whole time. And again, just work on your outsides. All right. And you can do. This is going to be working your core because you've not worked here for a while. Go. <coughs> the nurse said that someone's going to be in contact with me to book my first physio within the next two to three weeks. So I've got that. It's actually in three weeks. So I was hoping it'd be in two, but it's going to be in three. Um, so the physio will then give me some exercises and see how I'm doing. So from now on end, it's just me and the physio. And it's all about physio now to get me back in shape and back in, you know, how I was before and if not in a better condition than what I was before. I guess you feel a lot more freer, at least you can rest your foot on the floor because obviously you don't have you don't have a cast. So when you have a cast you can't really put your foot on the floor but now when you've got a boot you can put your foot on the floor. Um, I'm in a lot less pain. Um, yeah, I can take the boot off to have a bath, scrub your foot. I, I wouldn't like, if you're in the bedroom and you want to take your boot off to sleep like do not do that because i mean even the blanket getting caught up in your foot and like bending it the wrong way could really do some damage and set you back another three weeks I mean, you, you don't want that so yeah just listen to the advice that you you do get from your professionals and, and follow it but yeah um in terms of like you feel a bit better because you can see small steps you know you're getting closer and closer to when, when that boot can actually come off, right? I know I'm, it's, a, it's a countdown to nine weeks now. And then the boot's off and I'll learn to walk again and should be okay from there. Yeah, that's about that's about it for week three. Um, but yeah, there is a small progression, but it's progression that we've noticed. So it's good. Make sure you check out my week four. I'm going to give you an update in week four. I don't suspect too much will change just because I don't even know, but yeah, make sure you check in with week four. And if you've got any questions, like I said before, drop a comment, drop a like, um, it helps. And yeah, see you in the next one. Peace.